All right, so far we got the inner fender well out. Doesn't look bad uh, in the body itself or the fender, but when it comes to these ends like this, <clears throat> I probably just, like I said, just, you know, get a new one. And there's the old one right there. So now we gotta tackle that one, we gotta cut. This brace, uh, possibly that bolt, and I think that's it. But I'll probably cut these bolts here and just leave that brace. So, yeah, cut this bolt, cut that bolt, pull that brace, and then cut that, and we should be able to pull this one out. And then we'll start tackling the uh, core support uh, and everything else. You can see a, <laughs> a waltz nest or... Uh, that's dirt diver, I mean. We call them dirt divers down here in the south. They done built them a nest up in there. Ain't no telling what's, what else is we'll find up in here in these uh in these bodies. And you can see right here on this edge, you see where that cancer just took over. All along the edge. That cancer just took over. So we like I said, we basically just trying to change everything out, you know. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. We got both inner fender wells out. They got aqua. They got aqua. That's the same color. Uh, my son asked me about the color of the car that I'm possibly thinking about, but right now that's you know that's way on down the line. But as we we're saying, we got these fenders now. We're gonna start with these. This core support, getting it out of here. You can see those varmints. They've been living in here. <laughs> Uh, but but yeah man we getting it you know what i'm saying some of this stuff i like i said i might be able to save but most of it is probably just gonna get trashed one thing i wanted to point out do not bundle your shit bundle is i mean for me personally i don't know how other people feel about it but i don't want bondo to hide that because on, over the years it just makes it worse you understand what I'm saying? Like, look how, how heavy they put that on. So, I mean, you can see it from the body. Look how thick it is from the body itself. I mean, you're just basically patching up something that over time is just gonna pretty much be this way. And I don't want that. All I did was did this, and next thing you know, that whole piece came out. So, like I said, we we getting that slowly but surely. He's looking at a catalog, uh, wanting to know what parts I'm gonna get brand new and this that, and I'm like, basically the whole car is gonna come from the the the, the manufacturer itself. So, yeah, like. The doors, I'm going to see if I can get like some new doors, like full doors, not just the skins. Um, I mean, I'm going to have to, you know, patch all this up because it's going to be hard to. No, I take that back. That whole uh, quarter is getting replaced. That's right. Like I said, I was going to replace everything. But I'm just kind of, like I said, doing it in stages. If you looked at my first video. Um. Like all this here is getting replaced. Uh, so they still got the uh, original jack that came with it. Boy, you can fit five bodies up in this mug, man. Uh, tail lights, of course, they getting replaced. Uh, I do have the uh, the OG lights, but I think if I wanted to keep these clear. I uh, just have to, you know, dip them in some type of solution to get rid of that that moss, uh, get rid of the dirtiness, and, and get it back clear and brand new again. All these emblems, they're going to get replaced. The door locks, the trunk locks, this whole back uh, cove area, all that's getting replaced. Um, but bumpers, I've been hearing some horror stories about the bumpers. I'm definitely going to uh try to see if i can source out the bumpers as as opposed to getting new bumpers i mean i have like a little 
a little stretch crack right there got a got a dent right there uh, it was like that when I got the car but a lot of people telling me to keep my bumper my original bumper because a lot of people when you send it to these these chrome plating uh, specialists especially out out like maybe in the west coast area they tend to tell you like uh, just be wary of what you might get back I don't know how true it is but I've heard few people say that so it's kind of up in the air to where I can get that you know work done and get it re-chromed you know for both front and back bumpers uh, you can see the interior uh, my son he's gonna get ready to rip these seats out so we can get this carpet up out of here uh, I already did my headliner I did that when I was actually driving the car um, my dash is gonna come out of course uh, I'm in the in the market for a tilt steering you know get some tilt steering in this thing you know because sometimes uh when you're trying to jump in these cars is <laughs> you know your, your thigh your thigh is always hitting that bottom of that steering wheel unless you get a smaller steering wheel but i like the original style steering wheel that came with these cars it just makes the car look a little bit more classier and uh yeah man just like i said getting it getting it ready step by step that's what it takes so appreciate everybody for coming through chopping it up with us you know checking out the video like i said we're getting there slowly but surely but we're all making progress that's the main thing is, is keep at it and um yeah with that being said like comment subscribe uh tell me what you think about this video uh whatever project you're working on uh let me know we can chop it up in the comments and uh with that being said we out of here peace